All right, we're we're back. We're re <coughs> excuse me, reestablished. Ugh, I got all this. Ugh. The nose reacted well to the Vaseline. It's not trying to push it all back out. It's probably a more normal sun than when it's really dried out and you actually need it. So, anyway. Oh, hi. Good morning, Augie. I'm glad you came in. I've been meaning to show you this. It's my private sunroom. It's beautiful. Uh, so what do you think? It's beautiful. Very relaxing. <coughs> yes, when I step in here, I feel calm and relaxed right away. It's really therapeutic. It seems beautiful. Uh, you see, this is my sanctuary. A place where I can always find peace. It's a perfect place to drink my homegrown tea. Here, let's have a cup. Yes. Delicious. Uh, I love to come in here for a fresh cup of tea every day. It's my little ritual. Uh, let me try to explain. Ding dee dee. When I'm alone with relaxing tea, my mind is empty and free to wander. Who knows what might appear? That makes sense. Life can be pretty hectic, so having a hobby like this is nice. Feel free to come here and relax anytime you want, okay? Alright, so now I can't harvest, but this is a tea bush. And now that we've uh, gotten that, she will give us the recipe for tea saplings or tea bushes or whatever. And we'll be on our way. Now, was I... I don't think I had to buy any seeds or anything, right? I think we were just coming by to chat. I oh, God, I hope. Uh, the amaranth hasn't grown up, and we did the... Uh... <coughs> My old nose feels like it's dripping from both ends. I don't know. Both sides? <laughs> the The front and the back? Whoa! <laughs> My room might be a little less depressing if I had a window. Dude, why'd you smash your own pumpkin? He's so angry about it. Hey, Robin! There, let's chat. You're always welcome to visit us, even if you aren't in the market for a building upgrade. Well, I am today. It's pretty lonely up here in the mountains. All right, well, come on down to the farms. I would like a deluxe coop. Okay, I'll start working on your coop. Upgrade first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you. All right. Have a good night. Rest up. Be well. We're still looking for plums. <sighs> Following Mr. Poopy Pants here. Sir, I don't like pumpkins. He, I mean, he's been pretty up for right? Like, he hates the seasonal fads, the pumpkin spice this, the pumpkin spice that. Um... So, I, I guess, but the one right outside your own house? That's weird. And all that's a little tongue-in-cheek. Usually, uh, they will... Uh, if there's something placed in their pathway, if it's forage or a pumpkin, decorative pumpkin or whatever, if it's on their little walking path, they will get that little cloud anger looking thing above their head and just smash it.
uh, which can be can foil your planting of saplings and stuff. So you want to be a little bit careful about where that stuff ends up. You know what we haven't uh, haven't looked at yet? Can I make a mossy log? I can. A mushroom log, I mean. Ten moss, ten hardwood. Yeah, we need to make a mushroom log. Or a few of them. Speaking of things we could accidentally place in the... <laughs> Look at our trees. Our trees are doing awesome. Uh, I am very aware that we neglected uh, chores. Oh, it's already 4.30. I guess we fully neglected our chore. I, I was going to ride the minecarts down to town. Um, we'll have to do that tomorrow. We get to get our hoe back. Hey, Augie. So I stopped by Peter's the other day and bought a fresh melon. It's the first time I've seen one of those there in a while. Uh, I cooked it up for dinner last night. Filled the house with a scrumptious smell. It was a hit. Uh, I'm glad Pierce's stock is starting to expand again. Yeah, nothing like cooked melon. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> How's the farming business going? It's corn season, isn't it? It is, and melon season. I can imagine... Or not melon season at all. It's pretty much over. Uh, I can imagine being pretty peaceful working outdoors with plants all day. Yeah, well... Everything's got its challenges. Uh... So I guess we will just go here. And I, I think I'm going to start at the bottom. We're going to look at Dougie's. More slimes. Uh, maybe some more rock crabs. Um, and hopefully some copper. Would be nice. Stone. Obviously we've been short on here. I don't see any copper ore. Let's get this big rock. I was going to say, oh, let's just get this one passing by. It won't take any time. And then I missed it. I don't think these spirits are very... Well, they're very happy in a ladder sense. Not very happy in an ore or... Since. Oh my god, my nose. What the? Sorry, I'm just going to have to sniffle a little bit. Which I'm sure won't help the coughing, right? Because I'm sure uh, Vaseline isn't the best thing to have pulling through your nasal cavity. That's just an itch on the tip of my nose. Because now I'm thinking about my nose. I see that it's overrun with monsters. There's a crab. It's not very overrun with monsters. looking for. We're gonna level with all the loots. Double geode. Uh, now, I don't know how lucky we are, but Part of what we're looking for in this whole endeavor is a particular slime drop that we haven't found yet. Uh, it's pretty rare, but we need it. And uh, the sooner the better. I'm just going to go back around to this ladder. Smashing as I go. Every little bit of extra co- Ooh, ooh there's Dougie. He's still right down. Sorry, I got it. Oh. Ugh. 
when the uh, stream bounced, not related, I totally took all the time. I was like, okay, I'm going to so thoroughly blow out my nose, it's going to be perfect. And immediately it was like, oh, so you want me to do more of that then? Awesome. Not really. The doggies. Ten ten. It was really tr oh, we got a chewing stick. That's nice. Uh, there's our ladder. There's a box up here. Ports. More doggies. Bit of coal. I didn't miss it. <laughs> it's still not there. Ooh, that was a good one. Double coal. Twelve twenty. All right, that's uh. Oh, damn it. Earth crystal. I've been short on those. Probably because I haven't come back down here. Uh, no more scrolls yet. There we go. We got the Duggies done. Uh, I guess there's still more Duggies, but I'm out of time. <laughs> Unless I want to pay a fee for the privilege of... Oh, damn it. For the privilege of sleeping outside. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Plum, yes. Doesn't look like I got two plums. But I did get a plum. Uh, let's see if we have anything we can sell. Uh, I have not looked at the stuff. Uh, let's just do a few of those just to just to count it. It's supposed to be a nice day tomorrow. I'll leave the doors open. Say hi to Cole on the way into bed. Oh, you know what I didn't do, though? I didn't get my other coffee in all that hullabaloo. All right, let's stop right here uh, while I go get my other coffee. I'll be right back. And I'll also blow my nose again.
we go. There we go. Hello again, friends. Sorry about that extra little stop, but fresh coffee. And that reminded me of my awesome coffee story. It's kind of, it's, it's a trail of triumph and tragedy. Not really, but. So at the football game on Saturday, which was an early one, we started, the game started at 10 a.m. Uh, I got picked up to go up there at 7 a.m. Uh, so we had an early tailgate. All very good. Um, and uh, it was awesome. Yeah, the, the outcome was fantastic. Team looked great. Uh, spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Awesome. Um, I didn't even pay attention. It's, it's got to be not rain. I would have noticed that. And neutral. Thanks for stopping by my sunroom yesterday. I usually drink tea alone, but it was fun to share with you. I've enclosed instructions on how to prepare and grow your own tea. No pressure, but if you do end up growing some, make sure to bring me a cup. Caroline, uh, tea sapling. So we get the recipe, and now we can craft those. Uh, it's a little late, but we'll uh, we'll get them going so they're ready to go for spring. And they basically, for the uh, once they're mature, for the entire last week of each season, they daily produce tea leaves. Uh, I'd like to buy a pumpkin from you. My daughter and I want to carve jack-o'-lantern for the upcoming Spirits Eve Festival. Caroline. All right. Um, we can definitely do that. And then here, I guess up here, now all of our oak resins are maturing at the same time. And I think we can do a half-and-half half, uh, system because we've got a lot of those. Let's put away our fishy-related stuff that we picked up. Let's put away our monster and jemmy-related stuff. Let's put away our foragey-related stuff. We got three, three plums. Uh, are unstoppable. And another four oak resins. We got some uh, more hazelnuts there. Someday Kent will be pleased with us. We picked up seven more cherry bombs. That's very good. I could grow all or cook. That's the second time I said that today. Uh, we can cook all this. That's all the wood we have left. Yikes. Uh, maybe we need to chop some trees. Uh, these can definitely go away. I need this back out. And this can go to wait. I think, th I mean, we got a few geodes and stuff here, but think that can... Oh, we do have to go pick up the hoe from Clint. So maybe it makes sense to go uh, drop off the chewing stick with Gunther and maybe get some geodes processed. Uh, I would love to put the rest of that copper in, but I don't think I got enough extra coal. Uh, our amaranth is getting close, but not done yet. Wait, do I already have amaranth? Have I just not taken it to Marnie? I think I have some amaranth. Oh crap, we missed her birthday! I mentioned it like two times. And then we just went mining in the uh, kind of unremarkable levels of the mine. That was, man. We'll give her a good gift. 